Hey everyone, so here I have another um, Close My Heart haul that I just got the other day. Um, just because I want to pick up a couple things because whenever you get your um, your new consultant kit, you also get $50 to spend. Um, which is called CTMH Cash or something, so I went ahead and used it and I just picked up um, a couple things here. But mainly what I was really interested in was called the Chelsea Gardens collection. So I mainly bought... Um, there's as many things as I could from there. So the first I have is the coordinating cardstock, uh, which is the X7230D. Um, and it's 12 by 12 paper. And it's just plain, nice, heavy cardstock in all the colors. It's mainly greens and blues, a couple grays. It's really it's like a gorgeous. Um, Collection. That's really cute, but that's just the cardstock. And then this one here is the Chelsea Gardens pattern paper X7230B, the letter O. Um, and this is gorgeous, it's on the front here, really pretty floral. And then you can see, like, right here, it has the featured colors that go with it. really cute. I love this paper here um, because I have a scrapbook over here that's uh, really floral that I picked up from Michael's um, and I'm hoping that it'll coordinate. Really cute. And it says memories on the front. I'm um, really cute 12 by 12 and um, so I was hoping that this would go along. This is more pink but I think it'll work out. Um, really cute. So that's some fun. And so on the paper there's, I just want to Show you a couple. First page, really pretty floral, some butterflies in the back. This is really cute ombre here. Oh, this is cute. The white marble. There's more, um, like this is, um, light tan with light and uh, just gonna thumb through a couple here but it's really cute like greens um, and then there's two of each pattern but um, I thought this would be really cute um, to go with and then here's the back page it has all the tags that can be printed out or that can be cut out um, really cute to add as mats for your pictures uh, which I do I have a ton of pictures I just need to put them all in a scrapbook um, and then I went ahead and got some ink. This is the New England Ivy. Um, because I wanted a green, because I have a couple of their pinks. They're black and they're charcoal. Um, and then they're brown. But I think green would go really well so that I could stamp um, with this. And this was Z2835. Nice green. And I know it's one of their more popular colors. Um, and then here are the... Um, the compliments that go with it. Oh, and, and they're like stickers. Really cute. And I like this a lot. It says, this is our story. So I might do a page for um, my boyfriend and I because we just had our 8 year anniversary uh, last week. And um, that way I can do some pictures of us. And this is just some of the stickers. Love grows here. This was the best. These are really cute. Family portrait, that one would be cute as well. Um, I guess this just shows uh, what all's in there. That it's the four. Um, and this one's only a couple dollars. I have my little um, invoice here, but it doesn't have prices on it, so I don't exactly remember. Um, but I, they may have also been on sale, but I also just really liked this um, collection here. Um, and then I did get the stamps with it as well. Um, just for you, thanks. It's got the butterfly, um, this really gorgeous flower. I think I might actually have, I think that's it. It's just the one stamp set. And I know that this one, if they're smaller, they're less expensive. This one may have been eight or nine dollars by itself, but I love the, the leaves here. And I think that the New England Ivy will go well with that. I probably should have chose um, a lighter one as well, but I'm probably doing a lot of orders through them. 
Um, and that may have been everything from the Chelsea cards. I don't think I got everything. Um, I got the card making set, the paperback compliments, court card cardstock. And then I'll also look on their website and see if I can find um, anything else for that. Um, and then also I just picked up some stamps. This is the etched alphabet stamp. Um, so you can make your own sentiments because it each separate one you can take out. And I like this font. They have a couple different ones. They have some that are huge, but I think this is a good size for like a thank you card. Um, and then I also think that these um, will probably coordinate pretty well. And if you didn't want to do script all the time in the Chelsea, you could just do it more like this. Um, and then this one I've been eyeing for a while. This one's gorgeous. It's called It's a Date. Day to Day. And it has the tag. Um, and then the uh, you know, like the 31 days. And then you can um, circle the date on there. Um, if it's an important date or if you just want to do one for a certain month. Um, it has on the month that it has some gorgeous um, floral flourishes to go with it. But um, I know they also sell this in their thin cuts, um, which I am going to pick up in my next where is the thin cut that goes with this. Because um, I have some already in that tag, but it probably doesn't. The dimensions are probably off. And then this one is the Shimmer Brush in Bashful, and this was on sale, um, where they were doing the Bashful sale where I, um, got all this stuff in my, uh, my consultant kit, which is sitting right behind me. Um, and I thought this was really cute, and then I also, um, on their website they posted the other day, well actually on their Instagram that I follow, um, it says, okay, so what are Shimmer Brushes, and it showed a couple different ways to use them, and it looks like a, um, one of those water, watercolor markers. I'll probably have to play with this a little bit to get it started because it's all, um, okay, I see, so you just push in the bristle, the bristles, like that, just to get it working, and then it says you push on the side here probably to get the ink out. But I know it's just a um, just a shimmer brush, and they had a couple different colors, and this one is in the bashful, the light pink. It's really cute, and it's got a little ball in it, probably because it's um, probably paint-based. Um, and then I got the Close to My Heart Distressor, um, because I mean, you can use this for all kinds of things. If you didn't want to use um, ink to distress, and possibly use a little bit too much, you can use this to distress your edges, and it's better than using like a pair of scissors because then you wouldn't want to cut yourself with those the edges are more safe and then um, this is what I've been um, looking more into is the recipe kit for the kitchen traditions and right here it has the, the recipe on the top ingredients directions serves how many oven temperature and it's a whole it's a huge thing on their website Pull some of these out. So this is the what does it say here? It just says cut above recipe kit kitchen traditions, but I don't remember if this is the smaller one or if this is the main one. Um, but I can also put a link for it directly. Um, but here has the recipe cards, and there are a ton. I mean, it's also a different color on the back really cute and it also matches that the green from that Chelsea paper which is really cool and then here it has like a plain one you can use um, different in the pink oh this is gorgeous this is also for journaling if you want to do um, I think you can maybe mat a picture like if you made something oh these are adorable cute little measurements with the stand mixer um, gorgeous flowers I love all the pink the pretty roses um, probably put some tips and tricks and then this is the the tabs that you can put on the top of your recipe so you can write um, you kind of like sugar cookie mix and then you can put it on one of these and then you can see um, immediately you don't have to leaf through 
per se, and then there's a couple different kinds. Oh, and then this is really cute. The apron, the colander, nothing says love like something from the oven, because I like to bake, but I'm not good at cooking, if that makes sense. Um, it's cute. Um, if there's a whisk, there's a way. I thought that was really cute. Oh, and that's really neat. It has a kitchen conversion chart, um, which is what a dash is. An eighth of a cup is two tablespoons. Uh, meat temperatures, that's really cool. And it's a little bit bigger, probably more complicated recipes. And it has this on the back side of it, which is really cute. I love the flowers. Um, I think that's all the different ones, but this is really cool. And I'm going to, um, Michael's has their lowest prices of the season this weekend. Of course I do, because they want me to spend my money. Um, but I was going to run out there and I was going to, I wanted the measurements of these so that maybe I can find, um, or make, I was thinking about making a box to keep these in, um, because there's a lot of different ways you can do it. You can actually put these in a scrapbook that way, but then if you're afraid of it getting dirty in your kitchen, um, then you can just put it in a box, and that'd be great if you made your own box out of chipboard, um, and then you can maybe use some of this, um, or maybe even like a little mini album, like do just the whole punch here on the side here, fill this out, laminate it, um, that way the food wouldn't get stuck to it and you can wipe it off real well, um, and then do it that way. But there is a ton here that you can play with. Um, but this is really cool. And I just want to show you guys real quick today, um, what I had gotten, um, just because I will be trying my best to make some videos, uh, up in the next the next couple weeks, um, work hasn't been so terribly busy that I'm not just absolutely worn out in the morning or in the evenings. Um, so I think this will be great to work on because I've been, I've been wanting to make stuff, you know. I'd love to fill out scrapbooks and I want to make one for my nephew because his third birthday is coming up. So I think that'd be a lot of fun. And then I also want one for me because I found a scrapbook of mine that I had made when I was like, oh, 16 or 17 years old. And it's actually not bad. So it really made me want to get in the spirit again, and especially where I have my desk here in a different room. This is actually my work desk, and this is why it has a calendar here. Um, there's just a bunch of notes written here on this other side. Um, and so it'll actually give me room, it'll give me quiet. Um, that way I can work and I can show you guys you know, some ideas that I've been having lately. So I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'm sorry that I was gone so long on YouTube, but I think I'm ready to come back and you know, get the creative juices flowing. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. Um, and if you have any questions, I'll also put my Close My Heart link down below with my email. So just in case you all um, had any questions for me about um, the startup here. Um, so I want to thank you all so much for watching again, and I hope you all have a great evening.